What up, YouTube? It's your boy RDS and let's go. All right, y'all. We finna talk about the legend, Irving Magic Johnson. All right, I did a reaction to. Michael Jordan mixtape, Larry Bird mixtape, now we into Magic Johnson. Now the reason I did it in this order, this particular order, because those are my top, well they are in my top 10, but Jordan comes first. Magic, I mean Larry Bird is not my number two, but he's in my top 10, but he's, all, but he's before Magic. So we got Jordan. Larry and then Magic. So I'm about to jump into Magic Johnson. He's known to be the greatest passer of all time. He had the best court vision of all time. The man won on every stage from high school to college to the pros. He formed a rivalry with Larry Bird from college. I don't know if it was before college. I don't know if they had a rivalry in high school or anything like that. But I know they had a rivalry in college. And it went straight to the NBA. And I know Johnson, Magic Johnson, I believe, was rookie of the year. I don't know if he was rookie of the year and finals MVP in his first year. I don't know if the, I, I don't know if that's true. I know a lot, a great deal about Magic Johnson, but I don't know if that part is true. But I'm about to find out. So without further ado, y'all, but before we get into that, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all click that bell for the notifications. You see your boys get ready for work. I got to hit up out of here in about, about 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to get this reaction out the way. Hopefully I can do another one if I got time. So let's go. I'm excited, y'all, for real. He had a passion, an incredible passion to play basketball. He loved the game. He loved hey, the game. that guy who just dunked with the glasses, I, I forgot his name, but I heard he was a beast. He played with actual glasses and the man was a beast, for real. The crowd. I, don't know, I don't know if they were glasses or gargles. I'm, I'm not sure which one, but I know the man played. He was a beast in the league. Man, he's just a great basketball player. He's the best I've ever seen. He was my job before. I just don't think there ever be another six nine point guard that smiles about the uh, humiliation. Hmm. Now the ball in low to Magic Johnson. No look, mm. Blue Moon was born mm. in Hallmark, brewed with Valencia orange peel and by the spirit of baseball. Oh my God, that was, you see that? He lost control of the ball. But instead of letting the other player steal it, he pushed it between his legs. That shit was hot, for real. Really feel a no look pass. Look at a guy trying to look long <laughs> and then hit that guy in the dime without him looking at him. Hmm. You know, that's you know what's crazy about that? He asked to start at center. Six nine. That's considered short in the NBA for a center position. Six nine.
The man was 6'9", like 250 some pounds. That's considered short for a center position. Some people are just truly blessed, y'all. I said, I'm gonna go back to my high school days. He said, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm gonna go back and be able to score. I'm hmm. gonna score tomorrow. I'm gonna score a lot tomorrow. Oh, okay. The jump center, he ended up scoring 42 points, 15 rebounds. We played everybody conceivable against the defense. And here's a guy that, what was he, 20 years old? And it's over, and the Ooh. most valuable player is Magic Johnson. He starts at center. Look, I'm gonna do a lot of fucking stopping. This shit crazy. So, 20 year old decided to go to the coaching staff and tell them to put him in the game and start him at center. He said he was gonna decide to score. So, Magic basically, he could have been an all time top scorer if he really wanted to. The difference between Magic Johnson to me and LeBron James, everyone compared it to. And you know how big LeBron James is. You know, he's able to just straight demolish anyone in his path. He's straight killing the NBA. The only difference back then, it was it was just a little bit more tough. I'm sorry. I know people are t is tired of hearing that. It's true. Well, I'm pretty sure LeBron could have did it back in those days, too. He probably would have been hurt a lot. Because how much he be flopping now in today's league. Just imagine back in them days. I ain't saying he can't handle it. I'm just saying it would be a lot more flops. But the difference is Mag Magic Johnson, he just had a better eye. He had better court vision. LeBron is great. Don't get me wrong, he's great. But comparing him to Magic Johnson as far as overall like basketball IQ, LeBron is up there. But people are always saying that he's better than half these. How can y'all say LeBron is better than these players? How can you say he has better IQ than these players? I never understand that. He has a better IQ in his in today's league, yeah. Magic had a better IQ in his league. I'm tired of people comparing the different decades. I don't know if Magic would have been better than uh, LeBron James in today's league, but I know for a fact LeBron would not have been better than Magic Johnson in the 80s. There's just no way as far as all around. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. I don't care what anyone say. I am a LeBron fan. I don't knock LeBron. He is a, he's in the top 10. I don't put him in my top 10. He's in my top 20. I don't just go based off stats, y'all. I don't. I just don't. It's a lot more to it than just stats. Especially with different leagues. Today is just a much easier league. I'm sorry. It's easier. People are, like these, the younger generation, they don't, they're not going to take my side on that. And it's okay. Back then, it was just harder. If y'all do y'all homework and do y'all research, you all would see it was harder back then to score. Magic just made that shit look easy. That's how good that man was. Come on, 20 year old and that type of league. It was nothing but defense back then. It wasn't just straight shooting threes all damn day long. It was hand checking. It was throwing motherfuckers down to the ground. It was standing, I mean, setting some fucking picks that can put you out the whole entire game. Can put you out a few days. A few games. That's how hard those picks was back in those days. They were straight putting motherfuckers down on the floor. That's just how it was. But let me get back to it, y'all. Because I can keep going on and on about comparing the deck. Because I watch it. It's just so much easier today. I'm sorry. That's why all the records I get to broken. It's a lot of scoring. It's easy to score. These players allow, like, look at the uh, All-Star game. It's so boring. Damn, they're scoring 200 points. Who want to see that shit? I don't. I want to see motherfuckers earn their points. I want to see these top stars go up against each other and really, really battle it out. That's my opinion. Again, a lot of people want to agree with me, and I'm okay with that. But let's get back to this, y'all.
There was no rhyme or reason to the fast break. We just took off and running because we knew if you got out there and you killed the lane. Showtime. The basketball. The Magic a 360 turn with the dribble. Magic down the middle. Gives underneath to Worthy. Slammed up. It's showtime. It became bigger than a basketball game. It became more of an event. We just happened to be right next door to Hollywood. Well, it's a perfect <laughs> name for him because when he gets on the court, he is magic. You know, he found uh, an incredible desire uh, to want to play basketball and play it at its fullest. And so Urban's personality made that team showtime. I just love that name, Showtime Lakers. And like I said, I'm, Chicago Bulls are always going to be number one to me. But Showtime Lakers, not today Chicago Bulls, back in the day Chicago Bulls. But that I just love that name. And those colors, who doesn't love that color? You know, the gold and purple. You know, you can rock those with some faded jeans or faded shorts in the summertime. You know, rock your all-white ones. All-white ones just go with anything, y'all. They got to be fresh. Throw, you know, throw some purple sh uh, shoe strings up in there or something. You know what I'm saying? That's, that shit is hot, for real. Irvin's the type of player that hits you when you're open and oftentimes he knew you were open before you knew you were. He sees the open man, he knows when to get the ball to the right person at the right time at the right place. Woo! So basically, when Irving get the ball on the open court, just run with him. Either be on his left side, be on his right side, or be behind him. Just run with him. Shit, you can even be in front of him and running. He's gonna find a way to get somebody the ball. It could be, it could be five against two on a fast break. Five, well, not five. Yeah, five defenders against two on a fast break. He would still find a way to get that one person the ball with all those five defenders guarding him. He'll still find a way. That's just how good the man was, for real. So much to care for in your life. That's why nationwide is on your side. I love that song now. You got the rings? <laughs> No, not that one. Magic could take a snapshot of the court. He could be in effort to get a rebound. And when the ball hit his hand, he just took a quick snapshot, and that's all he needed to take. Hmm. Magic Johnson is so competitive. He really hates to lose. I mean, he really does. It's, it's, it's a passion <laughs> to, to win and win at all costs. When the pressure get tight, there are only a few players that want the basketball, and Magic wants the ball. Ball is in the Magic. Magic to the dribble. Three seconds. Two seconds. Magic's 18 footer. Wins it. Was he fouled? No. Did he make a miraculous shot? Yes. Has he ever done it before? You bet he has. Will he ever do it again? Time and time again. You've heard of winning time. Well, this is magic time when the game mm. is on the line. Magic Johnson always seems to take over. He throws to the other end. He just make his game winners look so fucking good. Oh, here it goes. And I'm on this side. This is what I've been waiting on, y'all. This is what I've been waiting on. I just did a reaction to Larry Bird. Make sure y'all check that out. This is the greatest rivalry in NBA history. There's never been a greater rivalry. This is by far. No other rivalry even comes close. 
Not even close. Michael Jordan had no rivalries because no one was on his level. These two, the same. They both damn near the same height, same weight. They came out of uh, school together. I believe they did. They battled in college, battled in the NBA. They both went to the championship numerous times, won championships, rings. It just don't get no better than Boston and Lakers, y'all. It don't get no fucking better than these two. Um, you got two of the greatest players on each team battling it out to win. Neither one of them wants to give up. I wish I was old enough to see that. It's going to always be that. You always have somebody in life that you want to be and you want to compete against. And Larry Bird is the guy. Three months ago, he announced his retirement from the NBA after testing positive for the HIV virus. But he was voted by the fans as one of the starting... I was old enough to remember this. I watched the game. And it was said that a lot of players really... I don't know if it was true. They were saying that a lot of players ain't want to touch him because they were worried about catching the HIV virus. It wasn't... I mean, people understood how you caught it back in that day. But it was going around that, you know, if... They were worried about getting cut and stuff like that, and a lot of players weren't really guarding them like that. But from what I heard, those players, a lot of those top players in the league that were in that All-Star game did not care, and Michael Jordan was one of them. Heard they, they didn't care. They wanted to battle him out. They knew they couldn't catch the HIV virus like that. They knew it was a, a hell of a chance of catching it because, you know, someone getting cut or bleeding. That I mean, I get that that can happen, but they still played, and regardless, and I respect them for that. I mean, that shit was hurtful. I remember when he gave that that uh, that uh, announcement, the speech, whatever you want to call it, when he announced that he had HIV. It was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. I mean, he was only, what, 32, 33 years old, somewhere around now. And he had to retire. Well, he was up He was up in age. He was getting ready to retire anyway. But it, it, was, it was hurtful, for real. I'm happy he's still alive today. He's even, he looks healthy. You know, he's still going strong, still married to the same lady, and he's one of the best to ever do it, so. Guards for the Western Conference Star. Defense. That's a three-point shot. Three things. 
I've, I've done what I set out to do. I'm Kareem Abdul. Oh, hold on, y'all. I was diagnosed. Yeah, uh, I hate when this happens. Come on, y'all. Come on. With AFib. The first inkling that something was wrong was I started to notice that I couldn't uh, do things. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. One of the best to ever do it, y'all. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think of Magic Johnson. Who you, who you think is better, Magic or Larry? That's, that's a tough one, y'all. People gonna have Larry, people gonna have Magic. It, that's just a hard one. It is. That's why it's hard to put them in my top 10. I put them together like, it, it's hard. I, I got Larry Bird ahead of Magic, I do. It's tough though, it, was, it wasn't easy, y'all. It was not easy with them too. They are so similar, man, they are. Magic just was a better shooter. I mean, Magic was a better passer. Larry was a better shooter, but they both had that killer instinct. Both. So as always, thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoy that. Come on, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the channel. Come on, y'all. Help your boy out. I'm trying, y'all. I'm working two jobs. I'm out here. I'm still doing this reactions. I'm doing this, y'all. I'm trying to make it. I can't make it without y'all. Come on, now. It's not that hard to hit the subscribe button. It's easy. It's not that hard. And so until next time, peace, love, and deuces.